Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Liza Nkosi. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing five apps that you can use to edit your YouTube videos using your phone or your mobile phone or your Android. Yeah. I know everyone is starting a YouTube channel and you're asking yourself how can you edit your videos if you don't have a laptop or you're struggling to edit using a laptop. You can do everything on your phone, film with your phone, edit using your phone. Okay, so I'm going to start with the list uh, apps that I feel like they are not doing it for me or I feel like I don't like them. I'm, I'm going to start with the list likely, yeah. So the first app that you can use, it's InShot. Everyone knows InShots. You can use InShots to edit your videos. I also use InShots to collage my pictures. It's like more of a multitask app. It helps in like doing a lot of things in just one scenario. Okay, so when you open the app, you can go on video add a new video and then you can just add any of your videos that you want to edit so what i like about InShot is that you are able to add your own music add stickers add some text to your video and you are able to also use the split option you know and then you split and then you come here maybe and split and then let's say you want to delete this part you are able to also delete parts in the middle or trim any parts of your video that you feel like you don't need to add on your video so when it comes to saving uh, <clears throat> your file or your video you are able to choose the resolution and you are also able to choose uh, the frame but what you are not able to choose you're not able to choose um your video to be 69 ratio that fits on the youtube thingy but i can show you guys how you can change any video ratio to any ratio you know let's say you you already saved this video and then it's coming out as um the the, the frame of instagram or tiktok so you are able to use a website to change that frame into a frame that will fit to the youtube frame yeah so the second app that i'm going to talk about is the kyan master i'm not a fan okay i wouldn't say i'm not a fan of this app let me say i am not used to this app i haven't used it much i installed it downloaded it and i checked how it works so what i like about this app is that it allows you to choose an aspect ratio that you want your video to edit on so they have the youtube um frame available instagram uh tiktok or reels they also have um anything that you want to edit even if you want to edit a facebook um Ed, you can also use this app to edit with it so since you'll be editing your youtube videos you can choose the youtube aspect or ratio and then you can add any of the videos that you need to edit and then you're gonna click here choose video and then once it shows you videos from your storage you're just going to choose any video that you want or feel like you can edit right and then here's the video and then you see this is your video here it's showing in frames and then you're able to click on the video when you're clicking on the video you're also able to cut you trim the video or you split the video you know for me I prefer to split and then when you have splitted the video you are able to 
delete the parts of the video that, that you don't want to appear on your video because that's the most important thing when you are editing your videos you're also able to add music so you can add any music from youtube library or audio library because that music is good music to add on your videos since it's from youtube itself so it's it's more helpful to add music or your background music from audio library or you can just like do a voiceover where you're adding your own uh, audio talking over your video if you wanted to add few things or maybe you were doing a tutorial about either hair swing or anything and then you just wanted to add the audio after you are done editing after you are done filming your video while you are editing your video yeah another thing that you can do you can do some reverse you can zoom in your video you can also increase the amount of speed usually when people they are doing uh, tutorials or vlogs or showing around a certain area you are able to to increase the speed there are parts where you feel like this part is not most important or it doesn't play a huge role in your video so you can just like speed up that f frame or that time frame where you feel like this part is not important so you can just increase the speed and then it will be increased so you are able to delete parts that you, you don't want there's just a lot of things that you can do with your cayenne master yeah it's good it's not much but there's a lot that you can do from Cayenne Master. So the third the third app is UCAT. So I just downloaded it because I wanted to see how it works like since it's also on an Android. So when you are editing your videos using the Cayenne Master, I noticed that you are able to also trim the video, add music, add some text sticker you can also speed up the video that's what i've noticed you can even add voice over that's what you can do also you can even crop your video if you kind of feel like there are parts where um something was showing and you didn't want it to show on the side so you can crop your video and you're also able to mute your clip instead of uh, the video playing uh, with some background noise or people talking in the background so you are able to do that and you are able to so you are able to split the video and then you split the other parts and then the parts where you feel like there was some noise or anything and you don't want to have that on your video you are able to also cut that out or delete out or trim it out or that part you can also just um, mute the sound of that part where you don't want it to appear on your videos right yeah so let's go back so um when you are saving any of your videos that you have um i noticed that it also allows you to choose any quality you can even choose your videos to be in uh, 4k you know so 4k doesn't allow certain um shooting modes it allows certain shooting modes so if you like shooting in 4k you are able to edit also in 4k and save your video as the 4k resolution rather than using the hd resolution or the sd resolution yeah the frame and the quality you can still choose the normal frame rates and the normal high 
quality obviously ratio make sure that your videos they are always fitting the youtube um aspect ratio because if they don't it's very difficult for someone to watch your videos in any ratio unless if it's a short it's understandable to watch a short in another ratio but if someone is watching your sh your video on uh your youtube channel they should be able to watch it in the youtube aspect ratio or frame ratio so number four it's cap cut i love cap cut i love it but i don't love it that much okay so you can add a new project you are able to add any of your videos that you have then once you edit your video you can edit from here yeah i think you're also able to choose your ratio I think my video is fine. I just wanted to clip that part. Let's say I want to remove this part since, since it's showing um, uh, some parts of my laptop. You're obviously going to use the split thingy. So what is nice about this one is that you can remove your background with cap cuts. That's why I said I love cap cuts. You can remove your background. I've seen a lot of people who are like um, doing their videos and then the background is not there, it's removed and then you're like okay what happened here because sometimes you have a background that you're not comfortable with so showing it to the world right so if you're using this app you are able to remove your background you're also able to eliminate you're able to do that so this is wonderful guys this is wonderful you are also able to add some filters or enhance yourself if you feel like you know what on that video was not looking good because the lighting was not doing you any good so you can do that that's what you can do you can even overlay your video oh my gosh there's so many things on this thingy you can even add some effects on your video i definitely want to try this out and edit a video a whole video and see how it looks like and yeah but i am loving this part of um editing software i like it so they are saying they have the standards definition resolution that is used for most tiktok videos so it seems not to allow the other um, resolution but you can always um, change your resolution using any free website to change the resolution of your video if you want to know how to do that I'm going to link a video showing you guys how to do that how I do that if I need to change the resolution of my videos any of my videos so once you are done you can definitely export your video to your gallery right or you can choose an option to save the video and upload it same time but yeah that's how it is so it's just free of charge so i also like using vn this is my favorite i've been using it for a while now it's a very good um editing app because it's more like kind master and it's also more like you cut most of the time so when you are editing your videos the way it is um i don't know how to explain it but i love the 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 the, the way it is like because you are able to choose your music, you are able to add subtitles or titles. It actually looks beautiful. You are able to add these fun things with different um, with different fonts and everything. So I just love the way it is like. You are able to also add voiceovers, add pictures let's say you want to add a picture of something that you are talking about on your video so you are able to add that too you are also able to mute the volume 
and then add your own voice overs so it also has the other features just like the u cut pro so these are the ones that i would recommend if maybe you wanted to 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 have uh your own app editing app for your youtube videos if you are still starting out they are still new they are nice to use easy to use flexible you can add any video and you can save that video or, or export that video to any time frame they have all the time frames that you can think of they have the youtube time frame the instagram reels tiktok everything that you could find out there so you can export your video or save your video but the important thing that you can do you need to definitely export to your video so you will have it on your gallery or your phone while it has already been edited and everything so this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed everything that i talked about and hope this was informational please don't forget to give me a like if you are liking my video you are helping my video to be su suggested to other people too and also please leave me a comment it helps my video to rank high if there's more engagement to it the more people comment and like my video and yeah it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all.